Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the scale mode in GarageBand's uh, app for the iPhone and iPad. Alright, so here we go. Go to create new song, go to smart, uh, guitar and go to smart guitar at the bottom. And what I like to do is to make sure the metronome is on so I'll know my rhythm and my tempo. Alright, if we go up here to song settings and we go to tempo, I like to change to tempo to what I like it to you know feel so today we're gonna choose 100 BPMs all right let's make a chord progression something simple sounds good to me let's record it make sure the metronome is on when you're recording so it can keep you um, on beat Alright, and the great thing about this is that all the chords are in the same key, so you don't have to worry about going off key. Now we're going to open up another track to record our solo. So go to Smart Guitar, go to the instrument you like. We're going to choose the Hard Rock Guitar. Alright. Turn on your major scale, and we're just going to test this guitar out to see how it sounds. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm really liking the sound for this guitar, so we're gonna change it to Roots Rock. All right, let's test it out. I can clearly hear some notes that are off, so I'm going to go back to my track, and I'm going to tap it twice and click edit, and we're just going to basically line the notes up um, on the grid. You can quant basically we're quantizing it, uh, but all you have to do is quantize it. I did it the long way. I did it the long way, so. So the chords are off beat, so I'm about to edit them the same way I did uh, the solo part. Alright, I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up at the grid here too as well. Now that we finished that, let's go to our solo track and let's do some editing. We're going to add some filters and effects and just to get a more unique sound. Alright, so go to track settings or track controls and then you're going to just play with the, or you can add some reverb and an echo. So if you need to add more echo, reverb or echo, add more. If you need to add less reverb or echo, add less. You know, just listen to it. If you go to um, above, you got the master effects option. Go there and click the arrow on echo, and you can just play with the different echoes, which is really cool. Add some compression if you need to. If you don't, don't. You know, listen by ear. You can turn off the um, effects too if you need to. So you can turn off the blue echo, the high drive. It's your choice. 
pressing that, save it. Go to select, done. Change the name of your project. Guitar Lullaby is going to be the name, or Lullaby. 